pull up our story or we're going to end up not even get the uh, oh there's Deborah <laughs> Deborah is submitted a story um, as a matter of fact let me see if let me see if uh, matter of fact we could probably go ahead and say she's here and we know she's here we could probably go ahead and read Deborah. Oh, yes. Matter of fact, we have read Deborah's first story where she talked about her the visions that she had. And we were asking her to come back and to tell us more about the vision and, and what God's plan was that she perceived and understood. And she has come back and she has... Um, wrote in and gave us a lot more detail and yeah. also also a video where she recorded these words that she got uh, back several years ago as a matter of fact um so she's been sitting on this for a while uh but first i want to give you a little update from a different deborah unless this is the different deborah that's in the comments I'm going to get confused. There's too many people. <laughs> Not too many. It ain't enough. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's sometimes hard to figure out. Every, we appreciate everything. And don't, don't let I acting like I'm overworked bother you. It is what it is. So, um, well, hello, Deborah. And I think this is the right Deborah. But there's another Deborah that wrote in recently. And I'm going to read that story first. Let's pull it up here. Uh, yeah, here we go. And let's make the make it a little bigger so everybody can see. Possibly, anyways. At least I can see. And okay, so what is the update? Okay, y'all guys remember Eric that wrote in. Okay. Eric wrote in and he was bitten on the neck by one of the dragons, at least he believes he was one of the dragons that Dr. Robert out in Marina Del Rey, California, has been filming and has over 4,000 of them. And we've been talking about this. We were talking about it before the show again, about what these things are and they've if they've been around for a long time, they've probably been noticed or documented before. And so we've been talking about that. I don't know how much we're going to get into that today because I haven't had a chance to look at everything well enough. But Eric also sent back in a book or part of a book that talks and discusses what he believes are these dragon manifestations, okay, that are fifth dimensional or at least they have attributes that seem to be fifth dimensional. Um, I wanted to read this that came in from, a, I think, a different Deborah out of Alabama, or is it the same Deborah? I'm a little confused, but okay. <laughs> That's all right. The story is still the same. So she's down in uh, Alabama, and she said, since watching you guys today, I finally know what happened to the top of my foot. I was just standing outside at night with the dogs, having a cigarette as usual. I never felt anything until I went in and started patting it lightly with a wet paper towel because it burned. She says, same size, looked identical, took over three months to heal. Those are the same things that Eric experienced and also the boy that was in the cemetery experienced. One question I'd have for Deborah is when it was healing, did you ever see anything come out of it? Like something that looked like a little wire or something like that. Almost like nanotechnology, something real small. If you ever noticed that, Deborah, if you're here, um, you could put that in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you could keep an eye out for that, Shannon, if it pops in. It looks like miss the, the other Deborah says she's from upstate New York, so it's not okay. the same one, but 
Okay. Not sure. <laughs> it might be the other one. Well, um, that, <laughs> Deborah, that Deborah story we're going to read here in just a second. And we've got two Deborahs that we're reading from today. Um, so she says, she says that it was the same size. She's talking about the burn on the neck. Okay. It looked identical to the burn on the neck of the guy in the cemetery that got attacked by one, or at least that's my presumptive feeling. And it took three months to heal. Eric, the gentleman that wrote in directly to us, said it took three months to heal. A lot of things kind of lined up there. So, uh, so yeah. She says, uh, I'm between Pensacola and the Alabama line since 1972 on 13 acres of very wooded wetlands. This is a first, hopefully a last. And then I communicated with her a little bit more and I just made notes here that I had contacted her via text messaging and asking her for more information. And via text, she talked about the fact that she lives near uh, the Blue Angels home base down in Florida and that helicopters and jets and things are flying over her place quite a bit, especially when this happened to her. They were flying over even more then. And uh, so, yeah, and she also submitted a picture of her location and I can actually submit it here real quick so that uh, well, I can add it, I think, if I can figure out how to do it. I really haven't used Word documents a lot, but I think I got it figured out here. Let's see. Let's go to the Supernatural show. Let's go into episodes, uh, audio, video. Season one, episodes 16. Um, which one is this? No, nope, I'm in the wrong one. Uh, oh, here we go. I believe this is correct. Watch me mess up. And the person's name ain't even Deborah. <laughs> if that's the case, I will fix it. Uh, I'll double check that. Anyways, this is the map of her location where she's at here. And this is the base down here where the Blue Angels fly out of. I believe that's correct. Uh, this area down here, because it's called Blue Angel Drive and all that. And it's, uh, you know, they've got a airport there so so yeah so that's just a little update on that is that apparently we've had a possible evidence of a possible additional attack and me and Shannon were talking earlier we find it interesting well Eric sent me some information that talked about this Roman domain this the this back when the Romans somehow had dominion over these what well, they're calling Lokis or a type of fly uh, tutelary fly and that the Romans had dominion over them at the time and had pent them up basically underground until the coming time when they would be released to attack Christians. And I find it interesting that Eric likely considers himself a Christian and he was attacked on the neck. And Deborah, if, if I'm getting the name right, uh, just going through a lot of names and a lot of people today uh, that I've been communicating with, so I apologize if I get it wrong. But but yeah, I would imagine because she watches this channel and the other channel, Logic Before 30, I'm thinking she probably thinks and feels that she's a Christian, right? Or knows. And 
I don't know about the boy in the graveyard, you know, that was in the cemetery. I don't know on that one. But that's part of the story that may be related, and I can't, I cannot say. That's why I'm not going to go into detail on it right now, because it may or may not be related. But I'm doing research, and people are trying to help. So we will get there if it's, if it's God's will that we know what it is, know what it is, and figure it out. We will. Well, in the paper, especially, or the, the, the part of the book that you're speaking of it. It says insects and witchcraft, uh -huh. and it does connotate a black magic source, a demonic type of thing, something from another dimensional kind of aspect playing a part. So yep. you know, I know for a fact L.A. is full of stuff like that, and thinking, you know, cemetery is also, you know, me, you know, military there's a lot of military involved in black magic so you just you know there's a lot of connections it's a very interesting book passage we'll have to look into it more right indeed we will and yeah there are a lot of things that kind of seem to be lining up there but we always have to be we have to prove all things right i'm just popping so, theories out there Huh? Just popping theories out there. Yeah, I agree with you. And we need to look into those theories. We need to figure it out. We need to prove all things. And that's what that's what we are doing. Uh, with y'all guys' help, everyone out there.